The Owen James Report is brought to you by Guardian Group Life Insurance Policies. Live secure, live easy. Of course, we all hope that our loved ones will always be safe. But just hoping won't protect your family. Which is why Guardian Group Life Insurance Policies are designed to take care of your family if anything should happen to you. So you can all feel a little more secure. Live secure. Live easy. Good evening. This is the Owen James Report. The Best Practices Awards ceremony is the Jamaica Stock Exchange's annual Blue Ribbon event. National Commercial Bank Limited and Sajgore Group Jamaica last night emerged joint winners of the Jamaica Stock Exchange Main Market's 10th Best Practices Awards. In the junior market category, Honeybun emerged winner. All three companies received the Governor General's Award for Excellence. General Manager of the Jamaica Stock Exchange, Marlene Street Forest, reinforcing the value of best practices, noted that data showed that companies that uphold best practices are better able to innovate and usually stay ahead of their competitors. Responding to a November 18 criticism from the Bank of Jamaica that despite increased liquidity to deposit-taking institutions, private sector credit only grew by 4.8%. Scotia Group's President Jacqueline Sharp says her bank's credit to the private sector grew by 9% in its recent financial year with plans to be more aggressive. She was responding to my general question on loans growth among the commercial banks at Scotia's analyst briefing yesterday. So there were a number of initiatives that BOJ implemented over the year and it took us some time to get to a stage where we have improved liquidity to now go out aggressively and lend. But you know, you can be confident that we are in the business of lending. We we have aggressive plans to grow. That's our core business. That's what we do, and we're really looking you now for opportunities from you know both private sector and retail to identify really good opportunities for us to increase our lending in 2015. On the foreign exchange market, the U.S. dollar retreated from yesterday's all-time high average selling rate of $113.69 Jamaican to $113.58 today, a fall of 11 Jamaican cents. However, the Canadian dollar strengthened by 62 Jamaican cents to close at $99.62, whilst the sterling weakened by 19 Jamaican cents to close at an average selling rate of $177.84. News on the Jamaican stock market now, where gains by Sagicor Group, as well as the big two banking groups, NCB and Scotia, helped to trigger advances in the Jamaican stock market indices today. The main JC index advanced by 419 points, or over half a percent. Trading was exceptionally moderate, with just over 584,000 shares changing hands. Winners included Grace Kennedy, NCB, Proven Investments, Sagicor Group, Scotia Group, and Scotia Investments. The two losers were Gleaner and JMMB. And that's the Owen James Report. Good evening. The Owen James Report is brought to you by Guardian Group Life Insurance Policies. Live secure, live easy.